Today I'm making those famous loft house style cookies. I've just paired it with some buttercream frosting for a perfect summer cookie. Coming up next. channel my name is Andrea and this is dessert first and today I'm going to be making a loft house style cookie so it's just a soft sugar cookie um, with a buttercream frosting on it so they're really just kind of light and airy and I think for me the reason I liked them is because they were actually really soft <laughs> a soft cookie for just a manufactured cookie. So, all right, let's get started. Starting out, we've got three cups of all-purpose flour in our bowl. We're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're just going to give that a mix. And then we're going to set that aside. And then in our stand mixer, we're going to add one stick of room temperature butter. And then two cups of sugar. I said two cups, it's actually one cup of sugar. So now we are going to add one egg. one teaspoon of vanilla and then three quarters of a cup of sour cream and then we are going to mix that in okay and we're going to scrape down the sides and at this point, it's going to kind of resemble a little bit like cake batter because it's fairly runny. But we're going to add about half or so of our dry ingredients. In here. Just get the rest of it in there. So your dough is going to be a little sticky, but don't worry about it. It is going to require some refrigeration, so we're just going to put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours just to chill it down. That way we'll be able to roll it out. So um, you could just, if you have room in your fridge, you could just cover your mixing bowl with some plastic wrap and just pop it in there. Or you can wrap it in plastic wrap, which is what I'm going to do, so. All right, so our dough chilled for a couple of hours and it's still kind of tacky, but we're gonna go with it. So I've got some flour on my counter and I'm just going to take about 
almost half of my dough. And I'm just going to dust it with some flour just so it's not so sticky. There we go. I'm going to get flour on my rolling pin. And we're just going to roll these out. And we don't want them super thin. So about a quarter a quarter of an inch or so just so they're they're even okay now you could cut these in circles or whatever shaped cookie cutter you have. I found these cute little cutters so our cookies will be a little bit bigger. So I'll just cut these. And I've lined my baking sheet with some parchment paper. And my oven is preheated to 425 degrees. All right, and I'm just going to continue cutting. All right, so our cookies are cooled down. I just let them set out on a cooling rack for probably about an hour and a half or so. And I've just made up a batch of buttercream frosting and I'll link that recipe for you up here. It's in the basics playlist so if you're looking around for it. So and I'm just going to instead of piping Usually I would pipe the frosting onto these, but boy, you wind up with a lot of frosting. So I'm just, just kind of spreading some on like so. And then I think we'll hit it with some sprinkles. These are kind of some fun, fun sprinkles here. They've got some little unicorns and some other fun shapes, colors. So here we go. All right. Well, I'm going to finish the rest of these, decorating them, but. That's what they look like. So you can add any sprinkle. You can add color to your frosting if you want it colored. You can pipe it on however you want to do it. So just make it your own. I hope you enjoy this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like it, share it, leave me a comment. Until next time, friends.